Hey guys, this is Coffee Truck, and I'm here with another Tinkercad tutorial. This one looking at making it a very, very simple, easy fidget spinner. Um, I saw this idea online, and so I just wanted to try it myself. So I didn't come up with the idea, but I've learned the idea, and I want to share it with you because I do believe in sharing. So let's jump into this. Well, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to drag a cylinder, one that's a hole here, um, and we're going to get this thing looking nice and, and and sharp the way we want it. And so, as we've talked about in previous videos, we know that a standard skateboard bearing is 22 millimeters outer diameter, seven millimeters wide. So uh, we gotta keep that in mind when we are developing this. And so as I put a work on here, I need, we can see here, that the, the diameter is 20. And we would actually wanna make that um, we're gonna make it 22.3. If you do some reading online, we know that's what most people are using that works out pretty well. So we've got our diameter right there. The next thing that I'm gonna do then is I'm going to add a solid cylinder around this. And I'm actually gonna make this a little bit bigger. I'm gonna make this um, 25. And I'm actually gonna then group the, or not group these, I'm gonna align these together and then as you can see here it works out pretty well and then when I go and group this you're going to see that now I've created a nice piece um, with a hole for the bearing now I don't need this 20 inches tall or t not inches 20 millimeters so I'm going to make this seven it's going to shrink it down to the standard size of a bearing so there we go that's the, the piece that we need for the bearing. I'm actually going to go through, I'm going to ungroup this now. Um, and to replicate this body style, we're just going to take this piece and we're going to stretch it out. So I'm going to drag it out this way. And what I have found to be good for hand size, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, is about nine. And there you have it. Now, for the time being, I'm actually going to hide this piece um, as we go through. And so I want to do that. Oh, I need to ungroup. I'm sorry. And I am just going to actually duplicate this with Command D on a Mac, Control D on a PC. One, two. So I've got three pieces in there. And then I'm going to go and I'm going to snap this grid to five. And now I know that I can now go through and get all the pieces that I need. Right here, they're all in there. I'm going to move this over in equal parts. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now I know that they are equally spaced apart. I'm actually going to bring this up now. Um, actually, pull this back down. Let's let's align make sure they're all in the same plane good we're going to group these so now it's one piece so now they're, they're going to be able to move cohesively now i'm actually going to bring this up and i can see that i need to make this just a little bit bigger So now what I can do, I'm going to align these here and here. And now when I go to group this, we've got ourselves a fidget spinner. So I'm going to go print these off along with the other ones so you can see the end result and see how it looks as a finished product. Super easy fidget spinner. In the next one, I hope to create some more advanced ones, show you how to make some, some neat ones using Famous symbols like Batman, spiders, and whatever else might be of uh, interest to you. 
Let me know what you think. Leave a comment, idea, share your thoughts, share your fidget spinner that you've designed, and I hope this inspires you to go out and create your own designs. Stay awesome, everybody. All right, so let's go ahead and clean this up. What I like to do is use a Dremel for this one, um, just to knock off the rough edges. You don't want to go real fast because it does, it could cause the plastic to melt. So I just, you know, no more than speed three, maybe a little bit less. And I'm just going to go around here, just smooth out the rough edges. And then I'll do the same thing just around, just a couple little, I don't know if you can kind of see it, but there's a little ridge here. So I'm just going to kind of smooth some of this off to get it a nice finish look to just knock off any of the excess. And this is just stuff that just comes on the print bed. Just kind of knock that off. And I can work this a little bit more. But for the sake of this video, I think you get the idea. So we'll go ahead and turn that off. And then what we're going to do now is put in the bearings. Um, one of the things I like to do to make this go faster, we'll just do a comparison. So uh, when you push these in, and it'll be a snug fit, and sometimes you might have to go through with the Dremel and drill just a little bit extra, which isn't too bad. I'm going to do that here on this one. There we go. Fit that in, and then if I stick this one here in the middle, we should have success or it spins so but here's the thing kids in these days and like my daughter here who's going to show you in a minute she likes it to spin a long time but she can do all sorts of tricks which I'm not capable of doing so what you can do so actually this is the one that I prefer for the middle this is another one but you can pop out this inside and take this track off make sure you don't jab yourself I'm going to pop the both sides off. Maybe. There you go. And then I'm going to use some of this lubricate here that I like. This is a 3-in-1 PTFE. It works a lot better than WD-40 in the trial runs that we've done. You just kind of spray that on there, get it all nice and clean. And then when you put it back in, we will hopefully see a difference in spinning. So let's give it a shot here. I know I have my daughter give it an ultimate test. So, oh. So you can see that it's going much longer now, much more fluid, You're able to do all your tricks and all that cool stuff. So there you go. All your different ideas, whether you're making this one or the other one in the previous video, this one here, um, or one to come up next, even something like Batman. Um, please like the videos, let me know what you think, share your ideas and creations, and uh, thanks so much for your time. Stay awesome. Yeah.